Before we get started on today's video, I need coffee. Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another one. We got a bit of a rainy, drizzly day outside, so I thought we'd do some arts and crafts. Not just any arts and crafts. We're making some goose silhouettes. Why? Because I'm cheap. No, I didn't film it, but if you have a look way over there in the corner, we got the shed moved. It was kind of anticlimactic. There was no skunk living under there. I think he must have sprayed over in the neighbor's yard and maybe hit my fence or something, but no skunk. I think it was a rabbit. But when we moved the shed, there was nothing under it. It actually moved pretty easy, but hey, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some goose silhouettes for less than 20 bucks. I'm trying to get a dozen for less than $20, because... Here in Ontario, one goose decoy, $31. That's up from 25 from last year, $31 for one goose decoy. The limit on geese here in Ontario is three. I don't know about you, I like goose, but I don't like it that much to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on decoys to get three. Now, so we're gonna make some and, and Truth be told, here in Ontario, all you need is some silhouettes just to get their attention, a black flag, and they're coming. They are coming. And when they get here, it'll be all over but the grilling. So let's get started. All right. Welcome back to Arts and Crafts. I probably should have waited for Ella to get home. This is kind of what I've come up with. So I got this guy here. Doesn't look too bad, but he's kind of big. And then I got this guy here. I think he's a little better. I'm trying to get two out of one flat board. So, we're going to go with this guy. I don't think you really want to sit and watch me cut out 24 of these things. So, we'll cut one and then we got to go get some paint. So that I can paint the white stripe on the neck. Gray body. White chest. Somebody stole my pencil. One of the dogs probably got it. Pencil sharpener. The key to this, I'm not sure why I'm there. The key to this is having the pencil, I'm using yellow because I can't find white, that'll show up so you can see the tracing line, and a very sharp knife. So we'll trace this out. All right, so there we are. It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, come on, they're looking at it from, well, hopefully 50 feet in the air. And hopefully it looks somewhat like a goose, painted like a goose. It's got to be close. You just got to have something in the field. Let's get this to cut out here. I don't know if this ever happened to you, but you can draw all the lines you want. But when I get cutting... The lines kind of go out the window. That's what we got. Now we're gonna paint this gray. We're gonna paint this white. This is gonna stay black. And we're gonna put the white band around his neck. We just gotta do 22 more. Then go get some paint. One more thing. The last thing you want to do is crease this here because then the, the head and neck will just fall over. This is foam board. It's got a paper backing. So I'm also gonna get 
some spray on clear coat to put on there to kind of protect it just a little bit. Hopefully it lasts more than an hour. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up. We're going to run out. We're going to go get some supplies and then we'll come back and paint them up. All right, so the purpose of this exercise is yes, one, I'm cheap, but two, I want to see if I can fool some geese with 20 bucks. That's it. I got two cans of paint. I might not even use the gray. I'm actually going to paint one, paint the top of one gray just to see what it looks like. Can I fool geese with 20 bucks? I guess time will tell. Uh, I did put one out in the water because it's a downpour. Yeah, I'm out in the shop right now. Uh, it's a downpour. So I did leave a piece out in the rain just to see what it was going to do. Uh, if it doesn't fare too well, I'm not going to waste my time painting the rest of these, but we'll see in the morning what it looks like. That'll tell whether I continue or not. All right, guys, first glance, what do you think? All right, so I don't want to do a whole lot of painting in here with the camera and whatnot because I don't want to replace the camera, but I just painted one gray. Well, the top of it gray. Here, have a look. There you have it. Oh, you're a goose flying south for the winter. Wings a little tired, you need a break. You come by about 20 of these in a field. Looks like they might be eating, having a good time, a little party going on, would you stop? I think they would stop. Question is, will these decoys last? And I don't think they will, but time will tell. Well, that's going to do it for craft day, hunting on a budget. <laughs> 20 bucks. Can I kill geese for 20 bucks? One of these days we're going to find out when the geese start flying. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, it was raining, so I had to stay inside. Anyway, I'm going to make some duck calls later on. I might bring that to you as well, but uh, that's probably going to be it. Anyway, hey, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, like button, share button. Uh, my subscriber count has gone way up in the past few weeks, and it's all thanks to you guys. I appreciate it very much. So tell your friends, hit the buttons. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And as usual, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. I'll take the front one.